Work at City Hall was brutal. I am as beat as the mayor in today's polls. Huh. The Berry Works was slammed. I'm as fried as the fritters I sold out of. Good, Good night! night. <sighs> A cricket? Okay, just ignore it. <gasps> Is that... A cricket? Yep. Huh. How did it get past my ultrasonic bug repellent force field? You know, I paid a lot of money to install that thing. Nothing should survive in here. <laughs> Except us. Wow. I did not know Aunt Praline disliked bugs so much. I mean, it's why I left Berryville. Where is it? Where could the little guy be? Shh. Living room? Akata Domesticus, the house cricket. Ha! <laughs> Just the TV. Noises. Sorry, David Attenberry. <gasps> Where is the feast? Feast? A uh, little cricket? Ha! <gasps> Where is it? Where are you? Feels like Aunt Praline is getting a little carried away. <gasps> the air ducts! Come on! <laughs> and a little, a lot, a whole lot carried away! And really, um, certain chirps a lot is annoying. <laughs> totally. But I just, oh. It's taunting us. We're gonna beat it. Don't you worry about a thing, Strawberry. Don't you worry. Yeah, I'm not worried about the cricket. <laughs> it lured us in and did that on purpose! On purpose? It's the cricket! <gasps> We're trapped. It's it's the cricket or us. We only have one option left. Atomic Pest Obliterator! Set timer. Get to minimum safe distance. Obliterates on contact! Do not inhale, maybe lethal. Oh! Fresh tropical breeze scent. I just want the cricket out of here! This is a little extreme. It's left us no choice! Ah! Now we wait. <laughs> and here, when Sir Chirps a lot be obliterated, I have to save him. No! Oh, you guys are so cute. Obliteration in 30 seconds. Not today, Obliterator! Five, <laughs> four, three, two, <laughs> one. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. Oh, there you are. You owe me, Sir Chirps a lot. Now you go on, young one. Be free. And chirp somewhere far, far away! Bye! <gasps> Where is it? Big bad bug is gone. It's gone now. No bug's gonna hurt you now, Auntie Praline. Okay, maybe things got a little crazy there for a minute, but hey, we made it through, and we can finally get some rest. Sleep tight, Strawberry. Good night, Aunt Praline. In Splenda's Big Apple City of a Rooster! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> we just opened for Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairies at Poachella! When we meet the Berry Fairies before they go on, follow my lead, okay? Play it cool. We are performers now. We're garbage! You're all garbage! Sherry, we just think it would have been nice to have you at rehearsal. I don't need rehearsal, Peppermint. I'm too busy making you sound good. That's it. You don't rehearse. You're mean, and we do all the work. If that's how you feel, let's see how the Berry Fairies do without Sherry Bobbleberry. I quit! Oh, it's you. You opened for us, right? Yeah, that's us. You were off key. Ouch. We don't need her. Cherry Jam can sing. She writes the songs anyways. Oh, no, 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 no. What if I mess up? What if they don't like me? When you're scared, remember one thing is true. You make the world a better place by just being you. 
so much for playing it cool. Who are you again? Strawberry Shortcake. She's always like this, but she's usually right. I know you're nervous, but Raisin Cane and Peppermint Fizz believe in you. When I'm nervous, I think of my friends. With them by my side, I can do anything. She's right, Cherry. We're with you. your way or to know just what to say when you don't feel like a star scared to show the world who you are you want to sing out loud stand up proud and face the crowd but you worry they won't care will they even know you're there find your voice broken guitar string. I can fix that in- You don't get it. Poachella auditions are today. Poachella? Big Apple City's biggest music festival. They're looking for up and coming talent. Winner gets to open for Sherry Bobbleberry and the Berry Fairies. But every year before my audition, something happens to mess up my groove. Lost little- Huh? Anywhere important to be. Hmm. <sighs> if you look outside, you'll see we have definitely crashed. Okay. No, yeah, that is very bad. But we can fix the guitar string and send positive vibes your way and build a mecha guitar that sounds sweet, plus transforms into a robot that can sing pop, lock, and jam. Too much? Thanks, Berries. The guitar isn't the problem. I think it's me. Poor Huck. I know he can do this. We just need to find a way to help him get his groove back. Okay, Berries, Operation Fix Huck. Let's think of something. Huck, wait! Oh, oh, keep doing that! You don't need a guitar! You just need some backup! Come on, I know you can do this. Feel it deep inside of you. I'll sing right beside you. Together I
close, you can hear it. A sweet melody everywhere. The sounds all around us. It's a symphony. Everything you are going to slay at Poachella. What's your band's name again? We are the Extraordinary Berries, and we can't wait to play at Poachella together. Because seriously, I cannot do this without you. Welcome to the Purple Pie Shop. The pies you love in an all-new location. Our current wait time is one hour. For no wait, consider visiting the Extraordinary Berry. <sighs> Again, absolutely zero wait. <laughs> Shortcakes, we love all these leftover treats, but we're stuffed. I don't get it. Why is everyone obsessed with the frozen purple pie they've had a hundred times? Is it me? Maybe I'm not the baker I think I am. Come on, Strawberry. A baker needs to believe in themselves. That's what Jay Quincy says in his journal. I didn't know you were reading his old journals. Yep, he was such a kook. He was so protective of his secret recipes, he booby-trapped them to keep them hidden. <laughs> if there were booby traps, I'd find them. Passing Baker, after my treasures of lime, pass my cupcake test or be trapped for all time. Jay Quincy? Three chances you'll have, so you must be clever. But if you fail, you'll be locked away forever. Strawberry! Ah! 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 What should we do? Me? How should I know? Everberry, quiet! Let's think about this. Jay Quincy was a business berry, right, Lime? <laughs> A smart business berry doesn't waste ingredients. He would make it simple. Put this bowl on the scale and pour flour until the bowl goes down. Easy. Jay Quincy was an inventor too, right, Lime? Well, I won't be out invented by some fancy pants in a top hat. This bad berry will hotwire whatever is locking us in here. Two, still not through. Yeah, so we're doomed. <laughs> More than anything, Jay Quincy was a baker. Right, Lime? That means it's up to Strawberry. I don't know if I'm the baker I thought I was. The universe gives us talent so we can use them. You're a baker. You're right. Jay Quincy said this was a cupcake test. So let's get baking. Wait, 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 wait. One last thing.
legends say the crystal cupcake was the key to Jay Quincy's recipes. <gasps> Look! <gasps> Jay Quincy's recipes. I think I found my solution to the purple pie man. Step on up to try Jay Quincy Cupcakes classic Apple Grove Compote Cupcake! <laughs> hey, buddy! You in line? <laughs> Coachella is Big Apple City's biggest music festival. So, Blueberry offered to be my food truck placement guru to help me find the perfect spot to set up the extraordinary berry. Here your journey begins. This is the light in the darkness. The what? <gasps> oh, smell that? Smellspiration has hit, and I must follow my nose. Have fun. The light in the darkness. <gasps> the light in the darkness. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. This is the perfect uh, turbo boost. <laughs> Lime tart and lemon tart, right? I'm strawberry shortcake. We know a lot of the same berries. So uh, you probably didn't see me there. All good. It's all good. But I was actually parked here first, so. The Poachella permit that I'm sure you also have says anyone can park anywhere at any time. Anytime is now. Anywhere is here. <laughs> Maybe there's another anywhere that's not totally blocking berries from seeing my truck? This longitude and latitude gives us the exact location for optimal performance. And this spot is big enough that I can hit the turbo turbo boost! I said one turbo boost only. Seriously, <laughs> give me that thing. <laughs> A minor setback. But there's got to be somewhere else with even more light, right? Here my journey begins. It's the light and darkness! Uh, what's that for? You're parked on a sinkhole. Oh, it doesn't look like me. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, light. Show me what you... What? what? Okay. No. What? Sinkholes, no falling trees, no creepy birds. This has to be it! Oh, come on! We needed a bigger spot for the turbo turbo boost. The Poachella permit states. I know what it states! Oh, the festival's about to open. Now I'll never get any customers. Light in the darkness. I was all over the light! And I still ended up in darkness and totally blocked from the... Whoa, I'm in serious need of a snack and shade. Whoa, you open? <gasps> Find the light is finding the silver lining in any situation. Hey, every berry! Need a break from the heat? Come get a Pochella pastry and enjoy some cool shade. Clever berry. What? Were you up there this whole time? Yep. I've been boiling cabbage. Mm. That's what that smell was? <laughs> I know, right? Total yum. It's my newest ice cream creation. Boiled cabbage and marshmallow cone. Mm. <laughs> oh, can you eat that somewhere else? The Poachella permit states you can eat anything, anywhere. Anything is a boiled cabbage marshmallow cone and, well, you know the rest. Ooh, it's an acquired taste. We are having a slumber party. It's going to be the best slumber party I've ever been to. Actually, it's the only slumber party I've been to. So I made the sweet and salty snack mix, and I am so ready to... I do... What do you do at a slumber party? Book club. Things could get intense. Ah! Scary movie marathon! Mm, 
Oh, the theme of tonight is relaxation. Junk food! <laughs> I am all about tea parties. Trez chic! That's French like the fries. It's gonna be perfect. But Elizabeth Gagne wanted nothing to do with Mr. Parsley. What? Trying to watch a movie here. Oh. Oh. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. This is not what I was expecting. Kind of feeling like we're not all on the same slumber party page here. Speaking of pages, if we could all turn to page 394. Speaking of party, how about a proper tea party? <laughs> Scary movie marathon. Relaxing spa getaway! <laughs> Sorry. Okay! I have an idea. What if we take turns? Each berry gets a set time for their activity, and when this timer goes off, we switch! That way, every berry gets their dream slumber party! <laughs> this chai needs to steep for just a bit longer, then we can... Never mind. Just as you're finally relaxed, you need to... Ah! I said relaxed! Elizabeth Benye's hand brushed Mr. Parsley's and she finally knew that... <gasps> what? What did she know? Ta-da! slumber party would go. Damn it! My remote! Little! Did everything about this slumber party is a disaster! <laughs> Not everything. This snack mix shortcakes made is great. Oh, thanks, Orange. It's a mix, actually, of sweet and salty flavors. They're really different, but when you combine them, it's... <gasps> Holy donuts! That's it! I know how to save the slumber party! Mr. Parsley, how dare you? Well, the movie version is even better than the book? It's so good. I don't even mind that it's not scary. Here you go. Way to go, shortcakes. Combining our different things into one big thing made the perfect slumber party. Like any great recipe, it's how the ingredients blend together that makes the magic happen. And this is the slumber party of my dreams. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we love, love chocolate, chocolate croissants. Fred and Lime started a weekly fashion brunch to bond over their mutual love of all things fashion. They're so in sync, they even say the same things. It's adorable. So, so trendy. trendy. So chic. Love. love. And a little creepy. What? Look! Vanity Pear has your dad's waistcoat on the cover! <laughs> <gasps> She's wearing dad's waistcoat too! But it's shorter, sleeveless! She changed it? We must meet this vision of style. Hi, I'm Slime. This is Bread. Crepe. Crepe Suzette. Enchanté. Is that a fluffy chiffon waistcoat? Oui. I love the pattern, but the cut uh, did not work for me, so I made some adjustments. I am an aspiring fashion designer. <gasps> Brett and I love fashion, too. We actually have a fashion brunch. You, you could join us if you wanted. Fashion and brunch? Oh, very much, oui. Great, but not now. It's later. Uh, late brunch in, like, an hour? So, lunch. <laughs> yep. Gives me time to take photos for inspiration. See you in an hour. Our brunch is right now. Why? You saw her? We're not trendy enough. We need a better setup, cooler outfits, fancier food, no chocolate croissants, 
We need avant-garde. I don't know what that means. Look it up. Come on, Lime. We don't have much time. Avant-garde. Oh. We need looks that say cutting edge. Hello, gorgeous. Brunch in the courtyard is more open. But this is exclusive. A VIP vibe. Hmm. Do you think Lemon would be our bouncer? She can be pretty scary. Did somebody say avant-garde? Ah! Ah! Horrifying. It's perfect. Hmm. Uh, you don't look very excited. I liked our fashion brunch the way it was. But Brad really wants to impress Crepe. You know what I think you should do to impress Crepe? What? Nothing. You're pretty impressive just the way you are. Fred, about this brunch. Hello? Crepe! Welcome to our fashion brunch. It's au courant. It's on mode. It's... Uh, not what I was expecting. I, uh... Do you not like it? What matters is, do you like it? Brett and I are always trying new ideas, but I think we both agree this isn't really our vibe. Oh, good. You have no idea how often berries try to impress me by pretending to be avant-garde. Oh, you don't say. What kind of berry would do that? <laughs> Shall we go outside for brunch? <laughs> I was afraid you wanted to eat in here. <laughs> I brought chocolate croissants. We love chocolate croissants. Ooh, very nice. Aw, still adorable. Oh, Sacre bleu. That, that look is tragic. tragic. And still a little creepy.